Hey, Cyrus. How you doing, Bubba? Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. them a little bit of air while I'm cleaning this place up. Here's a little one. You're too big, girl. You're too fat. Uh-oh. Some of the heifers are coming out. <laughs> like, I'm gonna get out of this door. Uh-oh, she's stuck. No matter what. <laughs> Why do I see <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I've been out here working <laughs> as usual. Let me turn off this water. I just gave them fresh water. You know, I'm concerned a little bit about this water because sometimes I smell Clorox in it. And um, I'm thinking that maybe I should run it at nighttime and let it sit for a couple of hours. That's what I think I'm going to do. Clorox or chlorine, it uh, evaporates. Just like, that's why you have to keep on adding it. If you have a pool, I don't have a pool right now. I used to have a little um, blow up spa whirlpool and I'd have to add chlorine every couple of days because it just disappears, it, it evaporates. So that's what I think I'm gonna do with the city water, but that's not what it's about today. I have some slips here. You know how long I've had these slips? Forever. And I promised myself I was gonna put them in the ground. They were in here so long that one of them didn't have any water in it. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it out here with the rest of the sweet potatoes. Why not, right? I've grown sweet potatoes. Uh, I grew them last year for the first time and I didn't turn the soil on anything and they grew. So because they're happy here, I'm just gonna add to it. I don't know how many are in here, but I'm gonna put them in. I'm gonna put them in and hope for the best. I ain't got nothing to lose, right? Just water. In a little bit of time so let's get to it let's plant these i know it's late but i'm in texas it don't get it doesn't freeze here until december <laughs> late december <laughs> i still got time yeah i still got time <laughs> they fell over so if they didn't have any water in it they definitely ain't got no water now they fell over i should have left that in there i pulled them all out why why, girl? <laughs> Let me try to get one of them back in. Look at this. They formed the cup. The, the <laughs> They formed the, the, the shape of the cup. That's a damn shame. Excuse my language, but I should be ashamed of myself. Okay, let me put some more water in this when I drop two. Just in case I run out of steam, huh? and put it somewhere where it's not gonna fall down, hopefully. Here we go. All right, let's get these in. I got two, four, six, eight, ten. Looks like ten. So. <sighs> Pull them apart. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for giving me this blessing. All right, had to do that. All right, so here we are, viable. Let's get to it. I put them where the corn was and I worked my way back. They done filled in though. Interesting. Stretch. I'm gonna bring you closer so you can see what I'm trying to do or what I'm doing. I shouldn't say try because I'm doing it. Let's do it. All right, you see that bare spot right there? That's where I've been walking. I'm just digging a hole. Taking a slip. Laying it down. Back there. Another one. 
dig a hole. Oh, I got roots and everything. Lay it down. Backfill it. We dig another hole. Roots are everywhere. So these, these sweet potatoes are everywhere. We got two more left. <clears throat> Put it in. Make sure you cover the roots. See that? Covering the roots. I'm left-handed, guys. Sorry. And cover it. Here we go. Let's back up out of here. You see that right there? That's where we're going to put them. Put one right here. Make sure you get the roots in. All of the roots, Jamaica. <laughs> Back to it. Another one. Pop it up. I only got one left. Put the roots in and cover them up. That's it. I don't have them all done. I just said that's it, right? I'm not done. So I have sweet potatoes on the other side. Problem is, I just watered over there. I watered this last night. Tell you what, that okra, it just sneaks up on you. Let me get that one. I know I threw a tomato in here. Let me get that before I forget. And let me look in here. You see, these vegetables will sneak up on you. Yeah. I don't see anything in there, but I do see okra. So let me go and get it off. Before we go to the other side the other side i know i'm not gonna be able to do anything as i said the water is still going out there right there so i turn it off in a minute i've already i've already um watered my moringa but i need to give it more water i did it by hand moringa is a trooper because this is this is arid back here. See that? That's one. That's the little one. They are, they're happier here. Look at that. Huh? People be talking about, you know, Moringa is, is it's out of control. I got a half acre. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. <laughs> it ain't up against the house. The house is way over there. <laughs> I don't care what it does. <laughs> I just want Moringa. <laughs> I'm saying that now, and then when it gets out of control, I'll be like, oh my God! It's so far away from the house, though. I don't care. It's closer to my neighbor's house than mine. Um, where is it? Okay, let me tiptoe through this stuff. I cut this back. This is a pomegranate. It was all the way over here shading my, um, my figs. That ain't gonna work. As a matter of fact, this cucumber plant is getting ready to encroach on it. Let me get that away from here. Get away from there. All right, let me go through here. I still got some weed even to do back here. But I cut these trees back. It was shading out too many things. So look, that's how it's supposed to look. Straight, so that I have a path that goes through here. It was all the way over here. All the way over here. All of these trees. They were draping down and hit me in the head. I came through with my, um, my pruner pruning shears, the automatic kind, the hedging shears, and I um, I got it all down. Okay, so I meant to go this way. I'm talking too much. That's what I was going to do. All right, let's go through here. Through here. Are there any beans on here? Nope, just a bunch of pods. Where's that okra I saw? Through here. Now it's hiding from me. It's on the other side somehow. I got Kush out here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 
It looked big and juicy too. Oh, there it is. It's on another plant. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Be careful because I don't want to break another. I broke my sprinkler and bite me. And I he bit and tried to run away. Mm -mm, you're going to pay for that with your life. All right. Tiptoe through this thing and get these okra out of here. Am I stepping on anybody? Okay. There's one down there. They need to come off. I don't want to come off. Want to give me a hard time this morning. There's another one right there. Step over. Step over. Get that off. Just twist it off. No mean, no sense. And it's not woody. So apparently yesterday it wasn't ready. Today it was. I see another one, but it's small. That ant got me real good. Okay. That's not what we out here for. We out here for sweet potatoes, right? I, I don't think I could do anything on the other side. I really don't. Because I watered well this morning. It's been hot out here. I ain't going to let my paint plants just die. Forget about it. I ain't going to get that one today. I am a little tired. Sweating. All right. I got to turn this water off. And how many do I have in this jar? That is the question. Let me get this. I moved all these buckets. So if you have pails like that, mosquito heaven. Anywhere there's shade and they can rest peacefully, that's where they're going to grow. I, ain't gonna, I know I ain't going to put these in the ground. Um, get it in the sun because they must spray up under that table because there is a million mosquito there. A million. <laughs> I know I repeat myself. Uh -oh. All right, let's see how many sweet potato slips I have left. And I'm still growing some. There comes a point where you're supposed to stop, right? I don't, I don't stop. Oh, turn off the water. And I found another mango last night drying out. So, oh, shoot, this one is in intensive care. But it looks like it's doing good. It's green, right? Here go the other one. So I have two mango trees. So I was watching another YouTube video yesterday. And um, apparently these people got fruit in three years from a seed. It's interesting how, how people tell you what you can't do. And then my family's from Jamaica. You go to Jamaica and people throwing seeds in the ground all the time. And then three, maybe three years later, they're getting fruit, if not before. I'll be listening to these people. Try. Try. With, and if you fail, try, try again. Keep on trying. Something I'd give. I'm like, what? Anytime, it, what is that saying? Thus do, does protest too much. Mm. Somebody's protesting too much that you don't even know. Like unsolicited advice, turn a deaf ear. <sighs> There's a reason why. They don't want you to know something. Jamaica, they throw them seeds in the ground and they grow. And a lot of other countries. You think they go out and buy seed? No. They don't do it. They People, industries play on ignorance. They do. They play on your ignorance and make you afraid to do stuff afraid never be afraid to try so a life lived in fear is not really a life at all so here goes our slips let's see how many we have all right how many do i have left one it's too early for me to be this tired two three four five Six. <laughs> or five and impossible if you pay play spades. Let's see. Y'all know about the impossibles, right? They usually turn into books. <laughs> we have five in here. Or maybe six. I just have to get this all these roots back in. Just a second. I'll get some more water and put in here. I have rain water. Let me see if I get some out of here. That's another thing. 
<laughs> these barrels were on Amazon and they were marked down. The barrels are getting very expensive, but if you can find some used barrels, like for honey or something, go ahead and try to get that because these barrels, these rain barrels ain't cheap. But you know what else is not cheap? Water. <laughs> something that you need to maintain life. They charging you a premium for it. It used to be free. I remember my grandmother did not pay a water bill. That was a new thing. And then they were like, oh, y'all will only have to pay a little bit. And now the water bill is sky high. They always do that. Sneak up on you. How you going? I'm not, you know, I'm not an activist or any of this, but how are you going to deprive people of something that they need to maintain life? What if I can't afford a water bill? I don't get to drink no water. Or I go to a lake and drink some water out of the lake and, and get some kind of disease to give to everybody else because that's what happens. Can't deprive people of stuff. Next thing, I'll be charging for air. I hate to say it. I thought about that. That's the next thing. So here we are. I got some more water in here from, they say they don't use it from the rooftop, but shoot, everything else polluted, so I might as well do what I can. We got some more um, sweet potatoes over here. So let's go ahead and get those slips off and put them in a jar. Let me put some water in here. Okay, water, free water from the sky. <laughs> All right, girl, let's go over there and look. So we have five in here. We have five slips in here. And then I'm gonna pull this thing over here so y'all can see how I did it. And I didn't come up with this. This is old school. Somebody long, long time before I was born came up with this method. So sweet potatoes. For those of you all that still planted them, because it's kind of late in the season. But shoot. I don't have no rules. I already spent the money on the potatoes. What else am I gonna do with them? Cook them? They're, they're no good. So I put them in the ground, right? I put them in, a, in some soil and they grow on the sides. Let me pull you down. They grow on the sides of the sweet potatoes and the top of the potato everywhere, right? But the ones on the sides actually have roots. See that? That's a root in there. Just put it in some water. I mean, you don't have to. If it has roots already, like this one does, it's not substantial, but it has roots. You can put that in the ground. You don't have to put it in water. I'm gonna turn this thing around because they keep on producing. So whatever, who am I to not to not plant them? Here's another one. Take the bottom leaves off, right? Stick them in water. And this one needs to see the off too. And this one. You don't want to put any leaves under the water. They'll rot, contaminate your water. Here's another one on the bottom. Move this out the way so y'all can see. Here's another one that's on the bottom, right? It has roots. I'm breaking it off. I'm going to try to get as much root as possible. See that? That's why people do it this way because they don't want to go through the process of doing this. This takes time. If you already have roots, well, you shoot, you already, you could already do what you want to do. There's another one. Pull off the bottom leaves. You don't want any leaves underwater. There's another one. Put it in the water. Oh, boy. And you could actually, some people use sweet potatoes, sweet potato slips as house plants. And these leaves, even if you don't get sweet potatoes, you can eat these leaves. They say, I haven't done it yet. They say that sauteed sweet potato slips are delicious. They're better than the sweet potatoes. So... Here's some more growing, but they're little small ones, so I'm gonna leave them. I'm just gonna put it back over there and water it like a plant. Keep it moist. It's real dry right now. Keep it moist and shoot. I guess I um I'll have some either I have some sweet potatoes or I'll have some sweet potato leaves to saute. These. As a matter of fact, let's go and get a little bit of these and I'm gonna scramble them and see how they are with some garlic. How about that? I already have about a mouthful, right? 
I need to get like 10 times more than this. <laughs> so here we are. That's our harvest. I'm just joking. <laughs> From what I've seen on YouTube, these are really good. So I'm going to put these back over there. I'm going to give it some water and we'll go out there and we'll harvest some sweet potato slips today. Okay. Today is all about sweet potatoes. If you haven't noticed. I promise you guys that we're going to look at the other side. It's a waste of time, but wait a minute, I'm going to flies in. Those are the most irritating things to me. Mosquitoes are worse, though. So we're going to look on the other side, huh? Since I said it, I was going to do it. I already know that it's wet over there. It's mud over there. It's not wet. It's mud. <laughs> I turned off the water already. Like, did, I, did you turn off the road? My mind be going. Did you turn off that water, girl? It's off. So this is what we're starting with, right? There's sweet potatoes in here with the cucumbers. The cucumbers gonna die. And then the sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are already taking over, actually. So there's sweet potatoes in here. Let me show you. See that? That's a sweet potato vine. And these are cucumbers that are dying back. Slowly but surely. But that's all right. That's not how I intended it to be because I thought the cucumbers were going to, you know, they weren't going to be this abundant. But sweet potatoes are taking over, right? See that? And it's not that muddy out here. Hmm. I'll think about it because it's getting hot. Let's go ahead and harvest some sweet potato slips. Not from this side. Look what I did. I lost my harvest. <laughs> I lost my harvest. <laughs> oh, Lord. Girl, you don't need to be out of breath like this. Wait a minute. There's some sweet potatoes coming out here. I don't want you out here. I want you in here. I'm going where you want to go. You go where I want you to go. Turn around. Turn around. There we go. All right. Let's. There's a cucumber. <laughs> I digress <laughs> so much. Let me take this one off. I'll forget about it, and then it'll be big and it'll be big and overripe. I like them that size. See that? All right, I don't see anything else out here. If there is, I ain't looking for it. It has to jump out at me like that cucumber did. <laughs> here I am. I want to go with you, Mr. America. We go this way. I planted some kushal seeds out there. I had them there last year, and now I have three, three fig trees out here. That thing in the middle, that is a red rocket crepe myrtle that I thought was gonna die. And now it's been here for like five, six years and it's getting bigger and bigger. And I don't want it there anymore. I want it right over there, way out there. Oh <sighs> well, let's go and get some, um, harvest some leaves so we can see how this stuff tastes because I'm curious. I'm very, very curious. I set you up, we're back out where we were. And we're going to get some of these leaves. <laughs> Let's get to it, huh? I'm motivating myself. It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Where? Uh-oh. I broke them Look at this. Look at this. Why are you over here? 
Okay, I got enough for a taste test. Let's go inside and saute it with some garlic, huh? That's all I know what to do. I don't know how to cook this stuff, so I'm just gonna try to figure it out. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soak this in some salt water. Wash this bowl out again, cause it's full of debris. And um, then we'll saute them. We are going to heat up our frying pan and we're gonna saute these um, sweet potato leaves. Turn that thing on high. Let's go ahead and cut these leaves up. I don't think it matters if you have the stem or not. I'm gonna leave the stems on. They've been soaking for about a half an hour in salt water. I did wash them off. I'm take this and roll it up. Maybe I do want some of these stems off. All right. Take that knife. A little bit more. Okay, that's done. Get all this debris up. Throw that back in the yard. Back in the yard, I tell you. One always gotta be hiding. All right. I think I got these done enough. Turn that other one on. Let me get some garlic and some olive oil, salt and pepper. Okay, I got my garlic here. Smash it. Get that shell off real quick. Okay, let's get some olive oil. Turn this down. Olive oil has a low smoke point. point. And that's, it will smoke on you in a minute. In a second. There we go. Move that around. There goes the smoke. Before this thing smoke up too much, go ahead and put it in. Go ahead, get your garlic, put that in too. A little bit of salt, natural sea salt. Just a little. A little bit of pepper. If you have fresh pepper that is not cracked, it's better for you. Crack it yourself. I already had this in the house, so I'm gonna use it. I'm not buying it anymore. I'm buying the whole corn kernels. Mix it up. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here, help it steam. 
help it stay just a little bit see not much turn it up a little bit all right moment of truth let me move this egg out the way let's see my first time eating sweet potato greens This is good. It's sort of like when you eat spinach, except it doesn't have that sharp taste that spinach sometimes have. It's actually, I think it's better than spinach. <laughs> yeah, this is a win. I would have put more season on here, but I didn't know what it was gonna taste like. So, you know what I did, over easy egg. One minute. This is Jamerica with Jamerica Life. I thank you guys for being with me. Go ahead and grow your sweet potatoes, if not just for the leaves, because the leaves, they're good. They're, they're good. They don't have that sharp taste, though. If you're looking for the sharp taste, you ain't going to get it. It reminds me of spinach. I thank you guys for being here and I will see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> Got stuff in my mouth. I hope a piece of spinach, I mean sweet potato, is not on my, <laughs> not on my teeth.